drastically, you know, uh, been going up more and more. They're not dying off. I mean, and the, the thing is that, you know, these sightings are all over the world. And, uh, oh, yeah. and you know, even sightings of um, uh, Peter Davenport talked about, you know, recently that he was getting reports of people actually seeing aliens. And, you know, one thing, it, it's interesting. You know, when I first started out broadcasting, people would say these spaceships or UFOs were like, 25 feet 50 100 feet in diameter now people yeah. are saying they're as big as a walmart store you know like oh yeah they're looking oh. out the sky and all of a sudden something comes uncloaked for a minute and then cloaks back in but it's huge and and i'm, I'm just wondering you know if 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 it's being exaggerated on or are we being visited by uh, higher technology uh Aliens, who knows what's going well, on? Well, you know, I mean, oh, yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm sure that they got UFOs in whatever size. You, you know, like I said, I've seen a large one. It's about 100 foot long, 20 foot wide, 10 foot high, I would say, be my best estimate. The second one I've seen was a small, looked like a, a, a crop duster plane. And the third thing I encountered was and then was a strobe light type of object, which I couldn't tell you what big it was or not, you know, and... Uh, so, you know, we've got all kinds of different uh, uh, craft out there, so to speak. I mean, so, you know, many years ago, I heard people saying, a person who I, at the time, I felt was very credible, was talking, that, and they were on a UFO, that it was like five miles square. And they, you know, so, hey, you know. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, now I want to touch base because we only got a few minutes left, Timothy. Again, the 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 implant that Doctor Roger Lear removed from you, when he sent it out to the lab, what type of compounds uh, was in that implant? Do you remember? Well, there was a, it, there was I think there was like about thirty two in mine, meteoric iron, and there you know there was just a you know silver, gold. Uh, Palladium, magnesium, uh, carbon, you know, there was just all kinds of different elements stuck in it, you know. And some of, them, some of the elements had, as he told me, for then was non-earthly isotope ratios. Like, I think the silver in mine was, uh, had a non-earthly isotopic ratio in it. Like, silver here was like 8 to 1, and the, the object in my body, the silver in it, was like 50 to 1. So Interesting. So it couldn't have been compounded know, so, on Earth. You know. Yeah, I had part of it that didn't parts of it that didn't really originate in this solar system. It was the best, is what I was told. So, that makes you wonder, you know. And do you know whatever happened to your implant after he sent it out to the lab? Well, uh, he got back and he had it and he took it to several labs. Now I don't know what happened to it with it after he passed away. I think Steve Colburn is supposed to have a little bit of that. The ANS Foundation, but. I haven't been back out to California, you know, and I haven't been pressing them. It's, you know, I think, and I think now it's kind of like if I had to go to Congress and ask for information, I'm really not going to get to go nowhere. No. So, you know, all I, I know that, you know, Dr. Larry was not a lot of mine for research. He, uh, for the one program I was on, uh, on the UFO hunters, he, uh, Bill Burns and them, they brought it out to Yuma and I got to see it and he had it. Very well cased up in a nice little plastic uh, cubicle deal. So, but he said it got a little thinner because they'd taken quite a, they'd taken plenty of material off of it. And I, well, that's fine. That was fine. Do you know if they ever did any uh, testing of any emissions like radio waves or signals or anything? Ever well, came on, off? The, on the when they he started doing that with mine, and we found out that they were emitting radio waves in the VH and UH and microwave. And uh, later on, on the, I'll just said, on all the operations he did after that, he tried to get equipment and, and, and get as much information as he could on uh, uh, radio frequencies coming from these objects. So now, he uh, told me he thought that they were pretty sure that they were sending and receiving objects. Uh, signals and, you know, and that kind of deal. But, you know, everybody else is saying, well, maybe his <laughs> research was contaminated or whatever. So, you know, it kind of got duffled there. But, you know, I can't see why uh, they 
they were hooked, being hooked into the human body with that uh, the lithium membrane, or as they called it on the cocoon, they called it on the program with a you know proprioceptor nerve cells hooked into it. So you know if it was being powered, I don't see you know if they can make it smart enough to send out radio signals. I can't see with such technology why they couldn't make it to uh, uh, also receive. And one thing I did learn that they did throw out that the, the power of a uh, they thought Steve uh, Colburn is a nanotechnologist, and they got to talk a little bit about nanotechnology and the carbon nanotubes and how they can amplify power and you know uh, uh, their interesting properties in the electrical area area for energy and stuff. Well, I I got to ask you a question since you had your implant. Uh, removed, and you were on several radio shows and TV shows. Do you ever regret going forward uh, uh, and talking about your implant? No, I don't regret it. Uh, you know, I was a little naive. Like I said, I was a little naive back then, whatever. But I don't regret it. You know, I mean, uh, the truth is the truth, and that's it. You know, it's what happened to me. I mean, uh, you know. Now that I've gotten a little older, you know, and I've got some grandkids and, you know, wondering how that, if this keeps being a muddled deal and, you know, dealing, if it will interfere with their lives kind of has me a little, uh, uh, worried or wondering, but uh, you know, I'm trying to straighten that out too and put down the weather way I felt and what's been happening with me and stuff like that. You know, kind of like Calvin Parker, put it down and get it done before I'm gone. But no, I got no regrets. I was, I'm glad I was able to, you know, was in the uh, right place, the right time to uh, vouch for Dr. Lear and help him out with these research and stuff. I thought we would, you know, uh, push quite a bit forward, you know, and it's still there. I mean, it's recorded down, and, you know, I can, if when people want to ask, I can vouch for it to be in that way. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to let you go here, Timothy. Is there anything more you want to say? I'll give you like two minutes, whatever you want to talk about your implant or aliens or UFOs, uh, you know, if you want to share your view out there. Well, I I thought we had a pretty good discussion, Gary. There's nothing, you know, uh, I was real pleased, like I said, with the uh, UFOs, the lost evidence with what they put on with Dr. Lear and uh, Sims and Coburn. And, you know, at least they were, a little more forthcoming and not saying contamination and this and that and whatever, which was, uh, you know, happened with uh, some of my previous shows of, you know, 20, 10, 15, 20 years ago when, okay. you know, they kind of had to, you know, what, stir the water, cloud the, cloud the water a little bit so you really couldn't see it, you know, just kind of put it out there. But, oh, but, you know, that, it's gotten better. So, and we can only hope, you know, and like I say, they're, Maybe their congressman will uh, get the, the service to do something. Maybe congressman, some of these congressmen will be listening and come around and ask me, you know, and we'd see. I don't know. I, I might go press O'Corey again, but I just, you know, I'm kind of disgusted. So that's just the way it is. Okay, sir. Well, but thank, but thank you. Yeah, I want to thank you for coming back on Night Dreams Talk Radio after hey, any, any Anytime. Anytime you want to get somebody on there to, to the fat, blow, blow the breeze a little bit, and then, uh, you know, something new comes up, you want my opinion on it, be more glad to help out, Gary. I'm great for you, and I hope you get feeling better, my man. Okay, my friend. Well, you take care, and you have a great uh, weekend that's coming up. Okay, take care, Timothy. Okay, buddy. Okay, bye. You bet, bye now. Perde tempo escolher uma roupa Porque no fim eu sei que vou tirar Fala tchau pro seu batom na boca E fala oi pra quem te faz pirar Se você já tá com a mesma sensação Pode vir, gente, que eu tô um bugão Tá descontrolada toda essa para E não para porque a coisa ficou mara Vou te ganhar no cansaço, no cansaço, no cansaço Vamos fazer um regaço, um regaço, um regaço Colarinha dos amassos, amassos, amassos 
vamos fazer um regaço, um regaço, um regaço. Pode vir, que eu tô um bocão Tá descontrolada toda essa tara E não para porque a coisa fica mara Vou te ganhar no cansaço No cansaço, no cansaço Vamos fazer um regaço Um regaço, um regaço Colar em altos amassos Amassos Vamos fazer um regaço, um regaço, um regaço Colar em altos amassos, amassos, amassos Vamos fazer um regaço, um regaço, um regaço Coming to you from some far point station, like a cosmic tumbleweed, both north and south of the Pleiades, here's your host, Gary Anderson. Well, here I am again. Boy, that thunder in the summertime. It's really bad. Anyway, we're going to call our second guest right now. Uh, her name is Penny Bradley. Uh, she was in the secret space force. So let's get her on the line right now. Getting her. Okay. Well, we'll we'll talk here for a minute. Anyway, with Timothy Cullen, I found that so exciting. You know that uh, they saw the UFO a, a few weeks or a few months later. He goes in the doctor. Something shows up in the X-ray, and he was lucky enough to have the noted Doctor Roger Lear take him as a patient and remove that implant. Makes me wonder out there how many people actually have had implants, and. Uh, it's scary because I think there's a lot more than we could ever imagine. Let's try getting Penny back on the line again. Getting her. Hey, Penny, if you're out there listening, we're trying to figure out what happened to you because we have you scheduled to be on and I'm not getting you. And uh, that is interesting. Let me try something else here. I'm going to play a little bit of music and we'll be back, hopefully, with Penny. If not, we'll have to figure something out. 